Today we're going to walk you through the Chocolate or Automate 3.5 install, get it installed in your system. Make sure you remember during this install process that you do unlock the DLL first before trying to install it. And then afterwards, make sure to restart the database agent, completely log out of your control center and back into your control center uh, before attempting to operate the plugin. This way, everything gets loaded up correctly and the system is ready for the plugin to be used. After launching a clean control center, you should be able to go to the tools menu and select Chocolate for Automate. This is where you're going to be able to manage all the approved applications, enable them or disable them. You're able to add new ones or delete applications that are already here. You're also able to manage uh, MSP licensing for Chocolate here. If you copy in your MSP file, your XML file here and save it, you can distribute that file to agents uh, at any client that you like. Our next task is to launch a client and enable either the workstations or servers or both from a client. Afterwards, we're going to go ahead and initiate a quick scan. Chocolate for Automate uses a caching service uh, as a means to prevent the uh, lockouts and blocks that you would receive from excessive usage of any particular community repo from one location. By setting a caching agent, you're giving control of, of, of all the communications to the repo from that one particular agent. All other agents will use the caching location. In areas where you may not have a caching device available or have limited access to machinery, uh, you can set standalone agents, which will allow that agent to act alone without a caching device and install directly from the repository. Within Chocolatey for Automate, you can schedule each client for a particular update schedule individually. This will allow you to control how often the updates are handled for individual agents for underneath that client. You're also able to use the installed softwares window to help jumpstart a new package by clicking on that, it's adding it to repo, it'll predefine the package for you in the app search area. In the plugin, you can enable or disable individual applications for update and install and or uninstall those applications. Within Chocolatey for Automate at the client level, you can select an agent and install applications from either a cache, as you see here, as well as we can go in and select to install 
uh, applications directly from the repo live as you watch it and get the response back in your terminal window.